Well, this is the 20th. It's a Monday. And uh, I thought I'd document this. This is what the river looked like after the uh, Thursday, which was the uh, 16th. The jam that you saw that came through and uh, had a good channel to operate out of and then uh, left this in its wake. Now you can see we've got quite a bit of residual ice along the side. And also on the other side. What you see directly ahead of us up against uh, the other, where the water ends, was a fairly large chunk of ice that was deposited here when the river came through with its jam and then stranded that ice chunk. And so were these others over here to the right. Now, you'd say, okay, it's all over and blah, 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 blah. And that's what I'd like to think too. But after living here, all these years, since the early 70s, I find that I've never seen the river leave this much ice when the final blow has come through. And usually after a big jam that we had on the 16th, it takes about three days for the big push to come in that'll raise this water level up and take out all that ice that you can see. It's not an exaggeration that when the bu big push comes you can actually stand on the bank where I am and be looking at the level of the ice going by in the river. It drags on the sides but the river kind of pushes up because that's where all the force is. So you're actually looking up at the river. <laughs> kind of fascinating. Anyways, uh, I thought I'd document this on the uh, 20th. And if I'm right, you'll see a sequel to this, which would be the big jam coming. And if I'm wrong, it's a wonderful year. And so far, it's starting out real well. Time will tell.